Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai. I'm a streamer on Twitch, an amateur singer, and a lover of all kinds of music. I'm really excited because today we're going to be diving into a band I've never heard before, but I've heard of them. Uh, Y'all have been hyping Corn up for a while and requesting this for some time, and I'm finally getting the time to get around to listening to them. I was told that Freak on Unleashed was a perfect song to start off with, so I'm going to trust y'all's opinion and I guess go down yet another rabbit hole, but uh, the best part is that we can go down this hole together. Um, but thank you so much for all that love and support lately. I greatly appreciate you. If you do enjoy what you see here, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss another video ever again. But with that being said, let's get started with today's video. I love the basiness. Uh, effect is reminding me a little of uh, Lincoln Park. Something takes a part of me. Oh, that drop. Something lost and never seen. Every time I start to believe, something's raped and taken from me, from me. Life's gotta always be messing with me. Can't it chill and let me be? I try to every night all in vain, in vain Sometimes I cannot take this place Sometimes okay. it's my life I can't taste Sometimes I cannot feel my face You'll never see me fall from grace Okay I um, just wanted to do my pauses to appease the copyright gods, but uh, I, I don't think I've seen an animated video, a music video before um, being done. I know this is a, a little bit of an older song. Um, this is kind of reminding me a little bit of uh, a little bit of Linkin Park. I'm assuming they were around during the same era. I'm a huge fan of Linkin Park. Never got around to listening to any corn, um, but that kind of like the beats, the beats, they were really well known for that. And I'm loving how it's, you know, so much bassiness. There's a really nice little like bass drop. It kind of gets you excited gives you a little bit of chills and i know even that's just the intro of the song but uh in my opinion that was a really good starter it was a really good appetizer i'm excited for that you know meaty entree because i'm seeing some guitars and i feel like they're about to like fuck us up with some music um but yeah really interesting so far loving animation i feel like that's kind of a cool touch um but it kind of makes sense knowing what time this came out um but i i, I wish that music videos were still kind of like this I, I just think that's kind of cool but even though it was a little bit twisted um but yeah let's continue Oops, sorry. <laughs> Okay, I, I, so far, I think the bass is absolutely so disgustingly nasty. It sounds so chilling. It's so good. I mean, that with all the love in my heart, I love the bass. I love bass and drums more than anything, obviously, besides vocals. Um, but I feel like they're kind of, the bass is kind of making this song what it is. 
I love it just it just kind of like makes the hairs on the back of your neck stand up you know uh so nasty so good so groovy even after that um that verse how you get that kind of transition with the drum it really really felt kind of like a little jazzy for a second I thought they were going to switch it up and give us like a jazzy type beat but I feel like they kind of like they, they sprinkled a little bit on there kind of get you excited for the rest of the song but I am really really digging this this sounds so fucking gnarly and I'm excited for more corn so right now drop me some more corn in the comments i would love to listen to some more of this because i think this is just like this this can be on those days when i'm listening to lincoln park this would be so perfect for that because it kind of takes you back to that time and you get a little nostalgic i feel like it'll kind of remind me of my youth where i was when i first heard this type of music and now i'm a little sad i never got introduced to corn um but hey Better late than ever, we're late to the party, but I got a lot of corn to catch up on. And honestly, that alone just makes me super, super excited. Um, but yeah, I'm, this is, this is gnarly. I really, really dig this, but let's continue. Wait, 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 I I'm gonna go back a little, cause holy shit, what the fuck? holy fuck dude i don't even know what to call that that dog barking that i feel like i just got barked at but that was uh insane i've never heard that type of vocal before that was so so interesting i had to go back because it kind of caught me off uh, out of surprise um but is there a technical word for that and i thought it was interesting because it's called freak on a leash and it literally selling like he, he was going feral on us um but that was amazing that was so interesting i dug that so much i also really liked um the symbolism i may be stretching here or maybe a little bit over analyzing um but obviously as you saw in the beginning the guard you know you know dropped he tripped uh, the gun fired and the little girl was you know about to you know die and then the series of events that went into reality and it started going everywhere and breaking things exploding things you saw where the bullet was going the entire time and at the end she grabs it and gives it back to him and i kind of like saw that as like uh like be more careful, uh, I guess, with what you do or what you say. Uh, you have no idea the butterfly effect that it's going to, you know, cast. Um, and so giving it back to him, it kind of like made him realize like, oh, like, oh shit, I fucked up. Or like, oh shit, I should have like been more careful or, or, you know, thought twice before I, you know, did things. Um, but I also might be reaching. Um, that is just my analysis of that. It just kind of felt like a kind of like think before you do or think before you speak kind of thing. Um, because obviously that could have went a million different ways and that one bullet had a trajectory that went through the entire video with all of that symbolism aside i really enjoyed every single bit of this i thought the instrumentals were so great the way that bass was being slapped the entire time it was so disgusting and it was chilling uh, i feel like it made the song the drums were just so killer and the vocals the vocals i i i was so surprised by that i hope that he does that in you know other corn songs because I want to hear some more of that. That was honestly super interesting and definitely caught me by surprise. But I already want to hear that more. That dog. I just want him to bark at me all day. 
Um, but that was amazing. Definitely very, very intrigued with this. They all just seem so damn interesting. And I cannot wait to hear one more of what they have to offer. Um, but if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss another reaction ever again. If you would like to hang out with me, I live stream on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You catch me on there. We can talk music, play games, get to know each other a little bit better. Um, but other than that, I also do reactions every single day, so stay tuned. I will be back tomorrow. You all take care of yourselves in the meantime. Remember, I love you very, very much, and I'll be back very soon. Bye!